The member for Tangney may proceed. Mr Speaker, the Joint Standing Committee on Electoral Matters, JSCAM, has authorised me on its behalf to raise the following matter of privilege in the House of Representatives. I wish to report to the House that in the course of the committee's inquiry into the 2016 election, a, the committee considers that GetUp has provided false and misleading information to the committee. B, the committee considers that the provision of false and misleading information substantially obstructed the committee in the performance of its functions in relation to the inquiry. And C, the committee has authorised this matter to be raised in the House of Representatives as a potential contempt of parliament and requests that the matter be referred to the Committee of Privileges and Members' Interests. Principally, this involves GetUp misleading responses over more than a year and a half to questions from the committee about its 2016 election vision survey. This survey asked participants to prioritise 10 issues. Five times GetUp failed or refused to provide the full results of this survey, instead providing misleading and on one occasion false information while giving implausible reasons for this refusal. All of this misled the committee about the high priority survey participants gave to the issue of dismantling offshore detention. Ultimately, GetUp only provided the full results under a threat of summons. I will table a document that details the pattern of misleading responses to the committee. To conclude from the chain of events that are reflected in the document, I will table GetUp's repeated obfuscation and prevarication constituent a clear pattern of behaviour which has impeded the committee in its work, which is impossible to ignore or condone. In relation to its 2016 election vision survey, it is clear that GetUp fashioned its public announcements about the top three priorities purportedly voted by its members to eliminate the issue of dismantling offshore detention, and for over a year and a half prevaricated and misled the committee in response to questions about the full results of this survey including tinkering with the results in order to give the impression that dismantling offshore detention was less important to the respondents than it actually was. This was a serious and calculated persistent cover-up which impeded the committee's effort to establish the truth about the results of their 2016 election vision survey for over a year and a half, and therefore impeded the ability of the committee to reach conclusions on the inquiry. The committee was impeded in reaching conclusions on item four of its terms of reference, namely the extent to which expenditure by third parties is conducted in concert with registered political parties. This is because instead of campaigning strongly on dismantling offshore detention in line with its members' priorities, GetUp campaigned on hospitals funding, thereby dovetailing with the campaign of one of the major political parties. GetUp has also impeded the committee's examination of donations from Stan Sharkey or the Australia-USSR Friendship Association. The question of whether an organisation aligned with, directed or potentially funded by Russia has sought to fund a particular GetUp campaign is a substantive one, deserves a definite answer and goes directly to the committee's examination of item two of its terms of reference, relating to examining donations from foreign sources, persons, entities and foreign-owned subsidiaries to political parties, associated entities and third parties. These are very serious matters that, because of the pattern of deliberate misleading and obstruction, substantially interfered with the committee in its undertaking and completing its work on the inquiry. They amount to an improper interference with the work of the committee and to constitute a contempt of the committee and the House's. It is important that the House make it clear that such contempt for the authority of our committees will not be tolerated. I ask you to consider giving precedence to a motion to refer the matter to the Committee of Privileges and Members' Interest for Inquiry and to report to the House. I also advise you that I have a statistical analysis of other answers given in response to GetUp's 2016 election vision survey, which will corroborate this submission and which I can provide to the Committee on Privileges and Members' Interests if the matter is referred. To assist you in your consideration of this matter, I, table my letter to JSCAM, I wish to table my letter to JSCAM, which formed the basis of its resolutions.